Good morning. Today is Saturday, June 15th, 2024. And today is a cloudy day outside. It's about 70 degrees. Looks like we'll get some rain a little later today. My own personal weather is uh, partly sunny, partly cloudy. Um, it's uh, I'm getting ready for uh, to be out of the office next week. So you should know that uh, this weather report will resume on um, to Tuesday, June 25th. So this will be the last one until Tuesday, June 25th. Uh, so, but it's good to be with you today. Today we're going to take a little detour from um, the, our, uh, the small catechism, and we're going to go back to more days for praise, festivals and commemorations and evangelical Lutheran worship. We're going to be talking about uh, several of the most influential uh, theologians in the church, Basil the Great, Bishop of Caesarea, Gregory, Bishop of Nyssa, Gre Gregory of Nazianzus, who was a bishop also of Constantinople, and Macrina, who is often forgotten, but she was the elder sister of Basil and Gregory of Nyssa. So uh, she is also very uh, important. Uh, Basil the Great, of the three men sometimes called the Man of Action, his brother Gregory of Nyssa, the orator, and their colleague Gregory of Nazianzus, the thinker, are known together as the Cappadocian Fathers, named for the area in modern-day Turkey in which they lived. Basil and Gregory of Nazianzus are named as two of the three great doctors of the Eastern Church. Working together, along with Macrina, the elder sister of Basil, and Gregory of Nyssa, the three are responsible for much in the development of Trinitarian theology as expressed in the Nicene Creed, in which Christ is both fully God and truly human. We begin with our reading from the Gospel according to John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. <clears throat> he was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overtake it. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or the will of the flesh, or the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh, and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son full of grace and truth. A reading, a little reading, will be from will be from Basil. God is on earth. God is among us, not now as lawgiver, but as one gently and kindly conversing in a human body with his fellow men and women. How can the Godhead be in the flesh? In the same way as fire can be in iron, not by moving from place to place, but by the one imparting to the other its own properties. The fire is not diminished, and yet it completely fills whatever shares in its nature. So it is also with God the Word, Earth received him from heaven, yet heaven was not deserted by him who holds the universe in being. Today, in our prayer ventures, I'm going to pull it up here. As we pray the Lord's Prayer today, let's uh, lift up the leaders, voting members, and others gathering for the assembly of the Allegheny Synod. The Spirit will strengthen, guide, and inspire them as they reflect on the mission of the Church, choose leaders, and encourage one another to proclaim the Gospel and serve our neighbors in need. Let's also remember to lift up 
uh, all fathers and father figures. Pray that biological fathers, stepfathers, adoptive fathers, and foster fathers will experience the daily joys of fatherhood and find support and wisdom for the challenges of parenting, passing along their faith, teaching compassion and respect, and encouraging and guiding their children. For all of these and for our own needs and concerns, let's pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. God's blessing be yours today and every day. I will see you again on Tuesday, uh, June 25th. Otherwise, I will see you uh, in worship tomorrow, either virtually or in person. God be with you.